<laughs> okay, well that's rad. Oh girl. I know. That I'm glad I didn't hit anything else, though. I mean, this is the littlest thing it could hit, really, you know. And go through, could have gone through. In the tire, or could have gone through here. Shut your door and hit I you. I know. Wow. I know. And what where did it happen? Good luck um, for all my dirt roads. It was hidden underneath the sand. Oh. Somebody must have dropped it or something. And it just, Ouch. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm glad you're safe. Yes, thank you, me too. That clip is literally how my life has been going for the past year. That clip is also very similar to my mentality right now. So I was just like, I just got to come clean because maybe other people are feeling the same way. At this point in time in my life, all I can do is laugh when stuff like that goes goes haywire, essentially. Um, last year, I would have lost my mind and blamed it on myself and told myself I was a terrible human. You know, and that's just not the case. I am just human and I'm growing and life has its ups and downs. And lately I've been trying to get back into my life. I feel like I got like men in black back into my present and I'm just kind of like, whoa, what? Where am I? What's happening? I don't know about for anybody else, but it is hard for me to get into, not a routine, but like to take care of myself lately. Like I've been getting my life back on track and I'm like really excited about my content and I just, I do feel good, but physically. Green juice, eating a good meal, making sure I'm drinking enough water, like not doing a good job on that front. As I just mentioned, like I haven't really been taking care of myself, but that's because there's so much behind the scenes that I've let take my attention, whether it be me being disheartened with humans and just like obsessively thinking about the situation at hand when they're probably not even thinking about it or losing myself when dating a human and almost using all of the external things going on in my life as a way to really escape the responsibilities and the accountability I need to take in order to get my life back on track. I've just been kind of thinking like, if that is the problem, then what is the solution? If the problem is that I feel disconnected from myself and more invested in external circumstances, then I need to reconnect with myself. Having those moments where you pull out and you're just kind of like, huh, this is actually a me problem. That's what I'm doing right now. And I've pulled out, looked at the life that's below me and just been like, whoa, okay, a lot is in disarray, but we've been figuring it out and that we're getting on the right track. We just need to make sure that we're staying on it. So instead of obsessing over something that you cannot control, lean into love, baby. Lean on into love and I'm leaning into love and Leo and watching this boy just grow on this property. This is literally my creative office. This copper table in the middle of the house that always looks like a mess. Let me tell you a little bit about Leo because last episode was just kind of like a life update. Never in a million years did I think I would be the owner of a pig, let alone a sweet little boy like Leo. But honestly, my chickens gave me the confidence. I was terrified of chickens. And then they were the first addition here to the property, which gave me that initial purpose. And then I just wanted to add more friends and make the property sustainable for animals more so than myself. Leo has fit right in. He's actually gotten into the coop a couple of times if I've let the door open accidentally. But more so, he comes inside to be right by my side. He is an incredible indoor pig. He is housebroken and he is into our schedule now. And he really just started to make me feel like me and make this feel like a home again. It's so nice watching the boys settle in together. <laughs> we are catching the first mud bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy I'm catching this. My smile cannot, I cannot with this. Another way to talk about a natural transition that I honestly feel more me and just overall better is when I just take the time to look a little bit cuter. And I haven't had a closet refresh in a while, so it was really fun to partner up with Fred Up and do what I love most, literally going on their site and taking my time and finding these pieces I did not know I needed. Let me tell you a little bit more about Thread Up because it is literally the only way that I shop. If you haven't heard of Thread Up, they are an online consignment and thrift store where you can constantly refresh your style while creating less waste making it easier to do better for the planet, your closet and wallet in 2024 by shopping secondhand first. Uh, literally I bought this laundry rack and I thought it was way bigger. It's not, it's miniature. 
My most favorite thing about ThreadUp, hands down, is the fact that I discover brands that I never knew existed and they quickly become a fan favorite of mine. For instance, this is House of Sunny and it originally was $105, but not on ThreadUp, it was $30.99. What about this backless? What? You can tell by the way I decorate my house, I'm all about secondhand first and that is literally what ThreadUp is centered around. I got this for $40.99. Are you joking? And this top, Zara, $30.99. Get out of here. You're gonna lose your mind over this belt, or maybe it's just me. Another brand I did not know existed, Kippies. This belt was originally $395, and I got it for $61.99. I feel like I'm stealing it. Oh my God. I mean, I genuinely don't know what my style is, but I do know it makes me happy. Did you just fart? Did you go outside? Potty. Before I just got farted on what I wanted to say, it kind of hurts my heart that I'm sharing my favorites because I literally want to buy everything over there, but you better head over and beat me. Grab yourself something because you can get 35% off your first order plus free shipping by using my code RACHELMETS35. Again, click the link down below. Use my code RACHELMETS35 for 35% off your first order plus free shipping. Not to point at you. Pointing is a little bit rude, but I'd love you guys. Go find yourself something and feel cute, shall you? You shall. Even when you're at home just cleaning gotta be cute. Leo is such um, an individual, you know, and I think just learning more about him and watching him exist, because again, he's only been here for a couple of months and he lives up until 18 or 20 years old. There's just like a lot of life already there and there is going to be uh, way more chapters that we're going to be living through together. And it just constantly keeps me checking back into the now instead of getting lost. Crazy a pig can inspire that. Ooh, that's a good one, Bobby. I'm learning every single day more and more with Leo, like getting him trimmed and the proper care and how much I should be feeding him and the fact he needs to go on a little bit of a diet and lose that forehead little roll because that's not supposed to be there, to even just having Leo's co-adopted mother, Christy, who is one of my dearest friends, I've mentioned her before, she's helping me build out his land, start to make things sustainable on my property and expand because she wants farm animals and she has always dreamt of something like this. So it's interesting how a pig and chickens and a horse literally have inspired this entire new life trajectory. Love, love, love how we just DIY'd all of that for him, you know? Where's his favorite spot? Right in the bathroom where Callie used to sleep. Don't you like being in here? <laughs> this is exactly where Callie used to lay. This is her spot. Go take a little snooze. Oh, I gotta tuck the chickens in. Leo has no much idea. Leo, what? Leo has no idea how much he has saved me. And I was thinking about that the other day about Gracie too when I was standing with her. I just stopped by to get a kiss from her and I just sat back and was like, man, they are just like constantly reminding me that, but I want to be my best self and healthiest so I can consistently show up for them and give them the life they deserve. And in turn, it's giving me the life I deserve, which uh, side note, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with Leo. Like there are plenty of moments where he has charged me. I'll show you one. And I have to just stand my ground and be like, hey, no, we don't do that. We are not aggressive even though that's just what animals do they test and they push boundaries i'm just letting him know who's boss <laughs> even though it's terrifying being charged by him because he like barks and stuff leo does not like the drum roll <laughs> it really is becoming this like quirky little desert farm and even though i absolutely love it my brain does get overloaded which is leading back to that mentality in the beginning of this episode of like oh my god how do we fix this Another thing that I think would just exponentially help me is having a space where my brain can breathe. I feel like right now, anywhere I go is a project, which is kind of the name of the game at the moment until the property is done. But I haven't really explored DIYing a space solely for me. Everything is a half done project or it's a before that I'm just staring at and constantly thinking about designing. So I wanna revisit one of the first makeovers ever that I did here on this property that I got all the help from, from all my people. And when I look in that space, I just see memory after memory after memory. And I love being in that room. I don't know why I haven't 
uh, visited it in a while. So let's go ahead and um, make myself a little studio so my brain can breathe, baby. So this room has been a lot of things. It, it was a bar. Actually, it hasn't been a lot of things. That's a lie. Uh, it was a bar. And then it was supposed to be a lounge. We never used it. Because <laughs> there was nothing to use on the property at the time. Um, but I built this roof with my best friend. And it's held so good. So I am like real proud of that. Number two, it turned into like I took, I built this out with my old assistant, Allie. Which was so fun because we, we used like as much wood as we could. And this is going to become my potting shed slash pottery room, which I think I used maybe one time. I want to make sure that this is functional for what makes me happy. And what I needed was all that to be pretty and functional. Like I hated looking out and living, oh, like feeling like I was living in a junkyard, which I know is a part of the process. But like there's like this odd pressure of like you've been here for three years. Why doesn't it look pretty? But now it looks pretty. <laughs> right now I'm just moving these florals. These are some of the first florals I bought with Callie. So I'm just going to put those over where I want to put a desk. I can't help but giggle because I thrifted this desk online for like 50 bucks I think. And it literally fits perfectly in this mirrored archway which I cannot change because for some reason I drywall these mirrors closed on in. So cracks and all they stay right there so I had to work around them. Oh my god. Dust is my arch nemesis out here in the desert. So I knew I wanted like this roll top desk and thrift one in particular to be all wood to go with this vibe. I am a sucker for texture and all the details here that you see are tied to a memory. Each book actually has a title that I'm pretty interested in. The chess pieces in the jar are a combination of wood brain and Hannah. The toolboxes are just, I'm a fan favorite of vintage toolboxes for storage. And again, close that thing up because it does. So it has all my pottery tools in there. And I'm using pieces that I've actually just like held on to for the quote unquote perfect project. And like these horse lights that I thrifted from Black Luck Vintage. They just are perfect and they make me so happy. And that's what this studio is turning into. That's what it's about. Oh my God, they work. Oh my God. Stop it right now. Just stop it. Stop, stop it. Do not speak to me like that. I'm excited to see myself grow in this space. For instance, the dried florals on the ceiling, that whole ceiling is gonna be taken over, hopefully, and just look stunning. And I get to look up again of the flowers I grew myself, of the ones that people gifted me, of the ones that I bought myself. I don't wanna do what I've done in the past and just try to pop a video out for you guys that I don't necessarily feel good about just because I want to get it out. This. I wanted to show a problem of how I was feeling and how I'm solving it with DIY. And again, it's not gonna be a space for everybody, but I hope that maybe you make a corner of your world a little bit more your own and that there is a space where your brain can breathe because even though mine took a lot of work in progress and it took me a long while to realize I should be utilizing my own home, we're here now and that's all I mean, that matters. How fun. You'll have to excuse the banging in the wind. Uh, windstorm has ripped here through for the last couple days. But anyways, what the heck? I know that this might not be everybody's taste, but I think I love thrift shops so much that like I designed my own little one, essentially. And it definitely has a vibe. It definitely has an aesthetic. This just makes me so insanely happy. It's like for me. Even though we didn't change that much, the whole purpose of the space now has become more, I get to work in here and get creative. And it's a space where like mess doesn't exist. Maybe to people though, how I decorate is a little messy, but that, you know, it's not your spice, it's for me. It is so nice to redirect, to be in a mental capacity, to be able to redirect and not just break down all the time and to, kind of problem solve in a positive way, like DIYing a space for myself, focusing on the animals, and just like understanding that I just need to kind of date myself again. And like I said in the last episode, it's like time for us to take over. So this is just a step in the right direction. Little by little, every single day, we're getting better and better people. Don't forget that. 
Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's episode. Don't forget to use my code RachelMetz35 and click the link down below for 35% off your first order as well as free shipping. I'll see you over there and I'll see you soon for another DIY.